right. Hi, everyone. My name is Marilyn Parentezon. I am the co-lead of the WMNHealth.org initiative. So at WMNHealth.org, we want to build a conversational platform for women to tackle mental and neurological health. We're going to come back to what a conversational platform is in a moment, but first, why women? So, in the United States, there are 5.5 million people living with Alzheimer's disease. Out of that, two-thirds of those people are women. It means 3.6 3 million of them. Women are two times more likely to have anxiety disorders than men, and twice as much women will experience depression symptoms over their life. There is a striking gender difference also that you can see in multiple sclerosis and traumatic brain injuries and also in eating disorders. But the most restraining thing is that women are underrepresented in clinical trials. There is no specific research made for them. So what can we do about all of this? Can new technology help? Absolutely. So WMN Health is built on dynamically conversational computing platform. Uh, dynamically is a conversational user experience company, and um, we are developing the next generation of virtual assistant. We are using the latest technologies in automated speech recognition, natural language processing, and data analytics. And we also will have emotion and sentiment analysis uh, integrated in our roadmap shortly. So, but again, we have conversational platform, conversational user experience. What does that even mean? So it means a great balance of carefully crafted conversation with powerful and engaging visual. So that's what we call the dynamic audiovisual experience for day for short, sure, because we like acronyms. So imagine that you could interact with your laptop your mobile, your tablet, the same way that you are interacting with your friends, by having a conversation that goes both ways. Imagine that you can message a website or just talk to it. Forget about scrolling over web pages, web pages of information. You want something? Ask for it, and it will just be shown to you right away. But on top of that, you could discuss the content, and you could also ask questions about it. Just like you would ask your physician when you go in his office and you ask questions. So that's what we think is the, the solution, and we call it conversational health. So enters Marine. Marine is our women's mental and neurological health assistant. So Marine will provide an easy access to accurate and up-to-date information. She will answer questions about uh, all the specific topics affecting women. She will also enable self-monitoring. So we want to empower women to take control of their brain health, uh, to see how they are doing over time, uh, to help spot patterns and trends. And finally, uh, last and not least, there is a ridiculous lack of digital tools right now uh, in neurological and mental health. So conversation with Marie would speed up the development of those much needed tools. So where are we at right now? Um, to build a platform that best serves women and a researcher, we need your input. Our goal is to act as a resource for a broad range of diseases affecting women. So we need the help of the community. We need your help, all of you right now, men, women, to spread the word. We need your feedback. If you have your phone out right now, take it out. Tweet at WMN Health what you would like to see Marine do, how you want to interact with Marie. With Marie. Do you have questions? Go on our, web, our Facebook page and just let us know. This is what we want to know right now. So. Let's work together to build that platform because it's time we chat.
who puts in the information or data for me to answer? And is there any human oversight in case there's something much more serious, like if somebody needs help right away? Yes, absolutely. So uh, we will be developing a platform by modules. So the first module we are targeting Alzheimer's disease. Um, I'm a neuroscientist, so uh, the initial content will come from me, from my colleagues. We also have a great network of physicians uh, and therapists. Uh, but obviously, uh, there will be human oversight. You can have some uh, back-end analytics that helps you have a look at the conversation, uh, and you can also integrate um, some escalation mechanism if there is um, an integration that needs to happen right away. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, uh, can your uh, software be used uh, to provide, let's say, remote services by doctors in India to patients in Massachusetts, for example? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Well, can your software be used to provide remote doctor service, for example, when the doctor is in mm -hmm. India and the patient is in Massachusetts? Right, so tele telemedicine, basically. Right. Well, right now we really want it as an um, informational resource uh, and as a brain health tracker, uh, but down the road it could be extended as a tool like to bridge the gap between patients and uh, doctors, sure.